All right, guys, welcome back to the channel speed behind the curtain episode six part number one This will be the backlash preview and predictions for today. I'm gonna do for you guys Um, there's also a couple of news topics that will involve backlash I'll be touching on in the video here before but before we get into the video We have a little bit of spat talk about what's going on in the week in WWE uh, Monday uh, <laughs> Monday Night Raw, I mean Monday was I kind of had a feeling this is a go-home show. You know, WWE recently with these go-home shows like literally the past two years, there's nothing that really happens. I mean, Roman Reigns, Jinder Mahal segment promo. But, I mean, main event with Mahal. It was what, what was it? Mahal, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn. Yeah, against uh, Lashley, Strowman, and Reigns. Well, you can see clearly where WWE is going right now. Who the guy? Who got the guy? Usually got the gets the hot tag in matches. You can see where they're clearly going. Finally, they might give Braun Strowman his push he rightfully deserves. Roman gets to the back of the line for now. That'd be great. Uh, anything else on Raw? I mean, the Nia Jax stuff with Bliss. Could care less about it. Bobby Roode and Elias Samson turned Bobby Roode heel. Uh, what else was on Raw that was of any importance? I'm trying to think of anything else. Not no Sun Raw was anything important to go over to SmackDown. Samoa Joe clearly is the best thing about SmackDown. I mean, that dude's promo ability is amazing. Nakamura and AJ is the only thing on this card backlash that I even care about <laughs> watching right now, people. Um, Daniel Bryan not be there, having to face false reports of him being injured, which I, it's not really false reports, but he really was chopped up by a freaking Roderick Strong at the Greatest World Rumble. So it was rightfully to give him the time off to rest for that. Um, Carmella as a champion. I love Carmella, though, but you need to get the belt off her already. I mean, Jesus. Already get the belt off Carmella. Um, anything else on SmackDown reporting this week? I'm trying to think of anything else. Was anything else important on SmackDown? No, really? No. I mean, Big Cash promo, he's, he got some great promos, but I just don't care to see Big Cash versus Daniel Bryan. I'm, I don't have interest in seeing this match. Big Cash and Daniel Bryan. Um, anything else? I'm trying to think anything else on SmackDown have this week of any importance? No, nothing really else. I mean, no so here SmackDown has importance, but okay, we're about to break down. After a quick break, we're gonna break down Backlash full card. There's a couple stories that are taking place with Backlash, so I'm gonna break down them for you. It's gonna be Samoa Joe plans for Samoa Joe and also Daniel Bryan update plans for you guys. So after the break, we'll be right back. We'll break down this whole backlash cards right here on Behind the Curtain, episode six, part one. Yeah. DJ Durrell. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we put this shit together, you know what I mean? Oh. Punch on the real made the beat, you know what I mean? I got this man on set. Alright, guys, welcome back here to Behind the Curtain, episode 6, part number 1 for your Friday. So, before we get into the preview predictions for the Backlash card, there's a couple of news stories that are attaining to Backlash I wanted to get into before we break down these shows. Um, news number one was that Samoa Joe is reportedly going to get a push, a very nice push, which the man rightfully deserves. I mean, dude's been cutting great freaking promos. Every time he calls Reigns a freaking failure, the crowd just erupts. <laughs> but not just because Joe is a great promo cutter, but he really, even last year, he deserved the title with the promos he cut on Brock Lesnar. But let's go ahead and get these reports from about Samoa Joe first. WWE has reportedly has big plans for Samoa Joe. Now, this may contain spoilers to my prediction for Nakamura versus AJ, but we'll just dive into this here and I'll see where they might still go, reportedly, okay? Justin Bryce of Sports Illustrated is reporting that WWE has plans for Samoa Joe to feud with AJ Styles over the, the WWE title in the near future. See? Keyword, near future. Didn't say at Money in Bank, but near future. Keep in mind that Styles defends the title against Nakamura Sunday at Backlash, pay-per-view. And the plans change all the time in WWE, which, of course, is true. Samoa Joe fans are bracing themselves for disappointment as the Samoan submission machine is nearly a certain to take the fall in his match with Roman Reigns. WWE is planning a Joe style shoot for the WWE title. Imagine reading this sentence five years ago. And it will be interesting to see the direction of creative moves in for Shinsuke Nakamura if he's unable to capture the title from Styles. Now, the reason why I brought this Joe stuff up before because there was news on who worked the dark match this past Tuesday on SmackDown. 
Which, who do you guys think worked the dark match? Just take a guess. It's probably right in your hand right now. It was Nakamura versus Daniel Bryan. And you know how WWE is when they work either house shows or dark matches. They're kind of leaning towards maybe doing that type of match. Ugh. God, 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 God. We'll get into this on the on the, on the breakdown about what I would do with Daniel Bryan first and Nakamura. WWE, they're, they're kind of going in backwards, okay? Uh, there's one more topic here also. Okay, update on Daniel Bryan's situation. So we all saw Daniel Bryan under Grateful Rumble with him having taken those many shots from Roderick Strong and a couple other wrestlers while he wasn't on the show for SmackDown. It was to play in his storyline that he was not medically cleared to wrestle. But then again, we all saw Daniel Bryan. Well, we all didn't see, but we all heard Daniel Bryan and Nakamura work the house, work the dark match on SmackDown. So, Daniel Bryan has been cleared by WWE to work a full-time schedule. Now that he's there, having some more faith in Daniel Bryan, he's not able to work a full-time schedule, which he's working the house shows. Listen here, I wouldn't even have Daniel Bryan work house shows, in my opinion. I mean, this dude doesn't, listen, you're just clearing the guy from, what, almost three years of absence of ring work. He doesn't work house shows right now. Let him get more of, maybe about, maybe after SummerSlam or Survivor Series, he can work a full-time schedule. But right now, let him, he doesn't work a full-time schedule, in my opinion. But, Daniel Bryan's been cleared down to work a full-time WWE schedule, which, I said, I'll wait, there's no point in rushing him out there working a full-time schedule, okay? So, let's go ahead and get this backlash card here. People, so we're gonna start from I don't care to importance. That's how I'm gonna rotate. I don't care to importance. All right, off the bat, Carmella versus Charlotte. You guys already heard my WrestleMania review. You heard my other reviews where I said you could have the match between Charlotte and Oscar at WrestleMania. Carmella comes down, catches on Charlotte, makes a triple threat match, and beats Charlotte. And he could have kept Oscar undefeated, have her work with Peyton Royce at this show. For example, she could have worked with Peyton Royce at the show, Oscar. So. Again, now they had Carmelo Cash in WrestleMania and pinned Charlotte at WrestleMania and have Asuka still be undefeated and have her work with Peyton Norris. But WWE likes to have Charlotte get everything because you know we're going to build toward next year. But here, again, she just won the belt, Carmelo, right? It's been like, what, two or three weeks she's had the belt? Listen, if it was me, I'm getting the belt off Carmelo. Like that. You had your little title run, girl. Go feud with somebody else on SmackDown. But me knowing WWE... They're probably going to drag this out, maybe into Money in the Bank, where Charlotte beat... Oh, you know what? Worst case, have Carmella beat Charlotte. Charlotte won... You know what? Scrap that. No. Carmella beats Charlotte here. Next feud for Carmella at Money in the Bank. She beats... She loses to Asuka. Have Carmella win the freaking... I mean, have Charlotte win the Money in the Bank briefcase and cash a rematch in her. You know what? Scrap that. That doesn't work. That doesn't work. All right. Charlotte beats Carmella here, which needs to happen. I'm going with that prediction. I'm going Charlotte beats Carmella here. Oscar wins the Money Bank ladder match for the women. She cashes in her rematch at SummerSlam on Charlotte. Then she beats Charlotte there. There we go. I'm going with that, people. I'm going with Charlotte wins here because Oscar needs some type of some boost. Because right now, no, she's got she's about to get in that point where people her reaction on SmackDown, even Canada, was kind of like it's Oscar. It's Oscar. She got kind of a reaction, so you need to rebuild up back up, uh, back up Oscar. Okay, so I think the next pay per view is is it Money Bank next pay per view or is it Stream Rules? No, it's Stream Rules is the next pay per view. Okay, so here, Charlotte beats Carmella here. Stream Rules have some type of match where Charlotte ends the feud with Carmella. Carmella can go back to where she was at. Not in my TV screen. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going with Charlotte here in their first match. Next, we're going again. We're going from I don't care to caring. Nia Jax versus Bliss. Nia Jax wins here. There's no even discussion. She's going to win here. All right. Uh, next, non caring of importance. We're going to go with Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now, one of my friends pitched me an idea here. We saw this match on, on Raw two weeks ago, right? I believe so. Bobby Lashley, after WrestleMania, has gotten kind of no reaction, which, I mean, I'm not surprised. People don't care for Bobby Lashley. <laughs> I'm not surprised. My friend pitched me this idea. Lashley turns on Braun Strowman in this match here, which I would not be opposed to doing that. I mean, the most over baby face against a heel Bobby Lashley would probably work for me. And he has to for, not forget, Lashley's not cut no promo since he's been back on TV, which is kind of odd though too, but I'm going to go with that. Lashley turns on Braun Strowman, Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn win here, which will lead to Strowman versus Lashley feud down the line. 
I'm going with that. So I'm going with Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn win by a Bobby Lashley heel turn on Braun Strowman. <clears throat> okay, let's see. Next non carrying match here. Okay, let's go with Daniel Bryan versus Big Cass. No offense, Big Cass has cut some great promos on SmackDown. Some great promos, but I don't care about your Big Cass. I don't. I don't. Danny Bryan wins here. No, not even, no even decision. Danny Bryan makes Big Cass tap out. Okay, Jeff Hardy versus Randy Orton for the U.S. title. There might be a couple heel turns on this show. I'm going with Randy Orton cheating to win. Look, everybody's been doing the low blow by Nakamura, right? I'm going to go with maybe Randy Orton low blow. Referee doesn't see it into an RKO. I'm going Randy Orton beat Jeff Hardy for the U.S. title with a Randy Orton heel turn. So right now I got Lashley and Orton turning heel. More Randy Orton beats Jeff Hardy by low blow into an RKO. That'd be kind of cool. Low blow into an RKO. <laughs> more Randy Orton. Okay, we got a couple more matches here. Let's go ahead. Seth Rollins, as you can see, the most over guy in the freaking company. A simple, a simple, just burn it down. Simple, just burn it down, man. What he's done for Seth Rollins. Uh, I could say WWE's gonna do some foolery here, but. I have the Miz, the Miz winning Money Bank ladder match, so the Miz can afford to take some L's right now. I have the Miz winning the Money Bank briefcase, so Miz, you can go ahead and take some L's, my man. Going to Seth Rollins to beat the Miz. Okay, uh, so we got three more matches. They're the most important matches on this show that anybody cares about talking about. So we got AJ versus Nakamura, and we got Joe versus Reigns. No, oh, we have just the last two matches. Okay, I already talked about everything else. Okay. I have a little feeling here. I was like t talking to my friend. Do you think Vince would dare put Roman Reigns and Samoa Joe in the main event? And I asked him, like, I could see Vince McMahon doing that. Yeah, I could see Vince putting Roman versus Joe in the main event because it's a Roman Reigns show. But knowing Vince McMahon, I'm going, this is going to be an upset pick here because I, with the plans that they're thinking about putting Joe with AJ later down the line for the title. You're kind of thinking to yourself, okay, if you're going to put Joe in the title, he's been talking about you're going to fail against Brock Lesnar, which he failed against Brock Lesnar. And Joe's been saying, I'm going to put you to sleep every time he comes out. Would you have the guy that you're going to have feud potentially with AJ Styles for the title, not back up his word? I mean, Roman can take a loss here. But me knowing Vince McMahon and knowing what they're going to do right now, Braun Strowman is the guy that's going to face Brock Lesnar at SummerSlam for the belt. It's just clear cut and dry. I mean, I've never heard the rumors of Brock's going to work Money in the Bank, the Money in the Bank pay per view. I'm kind of thinking to myself, if, okay, if Brock's going to work the Money in the Bank pay per view, which is after Extreme Rules, does Roman get his final rematch at Money in the Bank versus Brock Lesnar? I'm just like. Roman Reigns is done. He's over. No more pushing him. Okay? But then I'm thinking about, well, Ron Strowman is going to beat Brock at some extent, which is my prediction. I'm just holding on to that. I'm like, what do you do with Roman Reigns? This is why I turned this guy heel, man. Because he's just freaking up everything else that you're trying to do in your company. So this is what I'm going to do. Vince is probably thinking to himself, well, Joe can take a loss. He can take a loss, Roman Reigns. Well, we'll do with Roman Reigns. We'll do with Roman Reigns. We'll make it a triple threat match at SummerSlam. Roman versus Braun versus Brock for the belt. That way, Braun can beat Brock. Roman doesn't take the pin again. I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. So I'm going with Roman Reigns here. Reason why I'm going with Roman Reigns, I'd rather have Samoa Joe win because he's gonna if he's gonna face AJ Styles. But I think that'll be later down the line. I think Vince is gonna go ahead and do with a Daniel Bryan. I think it's gonna be Nakamura will go on to Daniel Bryan after this feud here. Probably at stream rule. No, not not stream rules. Money in the bank. Because I think what they're gonna have, I'm just throwing this is all over the place with me on my mind right now. I have the Miz winning the Money Bank briefcase. I have Daniel Bryan facing Nakamura at SummerSlam for the title. Daniel Bryan beats Nakamura for the title. SummerSlam, then the Miz cashes in. That's just my. That's the way I would be rolling towards it right now. So, I'd have Joe versus AJ at SummerSlam for a non-title match. So this is where my predictions is coming in right now. So I'm going to Roman Reigns to beat Samoa Joe. Joe can go on to face AJ at SummerSlam for a non-title match. Joe beats Styles there, which will get him his title shot against The Miz later down the line. And then you can work your way up for a Joe versus Daniel Bryan at WrestleMania for the title. 
see how I'm just, my creative mind is just rolling. So, listen, if Joe wins, I would not, psh, you know me, man, people. I would be like, okay, Vince, there we go. Keep bearing your guy, Roman Reigns, until he breaks. Like I also heard other people say, Roman Reigns should lose here. That way he continues to break inside, and that would I'll make him turn heel. Which would be, I mean, a great storyline where Reigns is like he keeps failing and failing and failing until he has to turn to the dark side from assistance from Paul Heyman, which would be, that'd be a great storyline. Roman keeps failing and failing until he needs, he needs, he turns heel. It's like, I need your help, Paul. I mean, look what you've done for Brock Lesnar. Can you do that for me? It's perfect here. It's perfect storyline. Okay, so I'm going with Reigns to beat Joe. But if Joe wins, you know me, I'm all, I'm like, yeah, baby, let's go. All right, the main event here, people. This is simple cut and dry. Nakamura's had three title shots against the W champion, where it be it's been Jinder Mahal, maybe it's AJ at WrestleMania, and it's at the Greatest War Rumble. Listen, I've heard people say AJ should do the Bret Hart thing, where Bret Hart wore the, the protector plate when he was fighting Goldberg at WCW, and he speared, and Goldberg speared uh, Bret Hart, and he hurt himself, and Bret Hart won because of the golden plate. I've heard people say, oh, AJ should just wear a golden cup. When Nakamura goes for low blow, he's like, oh. What this AJ? AJ uh, Styles classes him and wins. One, two, three. But my thinking is this here, people. This is Nakamura's last shot. If he loses the belt. I mean, if he doesn't win the belt here, what do you do with Nakamura? Now, I've heard of it. I've seen other people say this, too. I'm sick of people who challenge for the WWE title or whatever title it is. You lose you lose that title shot. Then you go down to the mid-card title. You don't automatically get a mid-card title shot. So, for example, say Nakamura loses to AJ here. He comes out to SmackDown, and he's trying to feud with Jeff Hardy. No, no offense, Nakamura and Jeff Hardy would probably be a great freaking match, but I'm sick of people losing title shots, immediately going for the mid-card title. Immediately. I don't like that, okay? I don't like that, Vince. So, in my hearts of hearts, my brain is telling me Nakamura has to win this match. But in my mind from WWE, it's like, well, we turned the guy heel, he has something to do now. Let's keep the belt on AJ. We'll find something for Nakamura to do, maybe. Maybe Nakamura can feud with Daniel Bryan. That's a great idea. Great, great, great idea. Whoever you are, great idea. Let's keep the belt on AJ. Which, again, AJ's my favorite wrestler, so I mean, me complaining about him having the WWE title. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, you know what I'm saying. I wouldn't care, but AJ knows business. AJ knows business. Keep the feud going to extreme rules. You versus Nakamura in a Iron Man match. That's what I would do here. I would have Nakamura win. AJ versus Nakamura at Extreme Rules into an Iron Man match. Final feud, final place there. Winner takes all at Extreme Rules in an Iron Man match. That's what I would do. But knowing WWE, I know AJ. AJ's had the belt since what? Survivor Series? The week before Survivor Series? So he's had it for what? November, December, January, February, March, April, May. I'll be a seven-month title reign. I mean, I know AJ's the greatest wrestler in the world, but it's time to let Nakamura take the belt. I mean, Nakamura's jobbed out to what? Jinder Mahal. He's lost to Randy Orton before. He's lost to a lot of people. Let Nakamura get the belt for even if it's even if it's for four or five weeks. It's better than not having it ever at all. You know what I'm saying? Nakamura's done such great work as a heel. Give him the belt even for even even for just five weeks. You have the Iron Man match, winner takes all. You can respect that. Okay? You can respect that. But, me knowing WWE, AJ's going to beat Nakamura. <laughs> AJ will beat Nakamura. Reigns, Reigns will beat... See, the thing is here, if I'm going to go with WWE's mindset, AJ beats Nakamura, but why would you have Roman Reigns beat Joe? If Joe's going to face AJ. You feel me? That would be so stupid booking of WWE to have. AJ beats Nakamura and Roman Reigns beats Joe. When Reigns is not even on the same show as AJ Styles. You see, you catch my drift? That's why Nakamura would have to win here. Reigns. But again, if it's the main event, you wouldn't want to go off the show heel winning, would you? But you've done it before, Roman Reigns, and you would have to be booed you before. So, Nakamura beats AJ, my opinion. But, knowing WWE, they're trying to break the CM Punk record. Even though Brock Lesnar is closer than CM Punk to breaking the record... AJ is the WWE champion, which is the real record that CM Punk holds. Not Brock Lesnar, people. So, this is tough here. This is, this is the problem with WWE is booking himself in a freaking corner. I'm going to go with AJ beats Nakamura. 
Okay, if Nakamura wins, I'm not gonna. It's the same thing with Joe. If Joe beats Roman, I'm not gonna complain. If Nakamura beats AJ, I won't complain because they both deserve it. They both have worked their butts off. So I'm still going AJ Styles. That's what I think they're gonna do. And AJ versus Joe. So later down the line, Daniel Bryan gets down a big cast. You can move Daniel Bryan once he gets down a big cast. Move him over to AJ, which I would do. But I make it a slow build. So I'd go with Daniel Bryan versus Jeff Hardy. Slow build up. Slow build up Daniel Bryan. So. Just to recap here for you guys, I'm going with Braun Strowman and Bobby Lashley to lose to Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. But if Bobby Lashley, he will turn on Braun Strowman. Going with Daniel Bryan to beat Big Cass. Going with Randy Orton to beat Jeff Hardy by a heel turn from Randy Orton too. I'm going with Charlotte Flair to beat Carmella. I'm going with Nia Jax to beat, to beat Bliss. Going with Seth Rollins to beat The Miz. Going with AJ to beat Nakamura. And I'm going with Roman Reigns to beat Samoa Joe. Okay, that's my predictions. That's my, that's my lock them in predictions, people, for Backlash. So, catch you guys here tomorrow for episode six, part two. Whatever we find for news, we'll go ahead and do that for you guys again. Don't forget to send your Q&A because at the end of videos now, we'll have a little Q&A session. So, every behind the curtain, we'll have a Q&A session here. So, catch you guys tomorrow for that. And I'll go ahead and do some more videos for you guys before I go off to work. So, that's my predictions for Backlash. I'll also be doing a live reaction to Backlash on Sunday, so catch you guys on Sunday for a Backlash live reaction. Yeah. DJ Durrell. Yeah. The way we put this shit together, you know what I mean?